Hi YouTube, it's Andrew from moneymental.co.uk here um, the website dedicated to money and mental health problems I'm back again uh, with another sales roundup video just thought I'd pick out some of the uh, sales I had from last week um, I will talk through the items, what I paid for them what I sold them for, how much sort of profit I made and hopefully it'll give you an idea of the sort of items to look out for if you're considering doing reselling on eBay yourself um, I'll also tell you where I sourced the items from as well. Okay, so without further ado, we'll go into item number one. Uh, this is a 1999 um, Furby. Um, it's fully working and it never actually been out of its um, box. This is one of the um, smaller Furbies. Um, I picked this up at a, a tabletop sale. Uh, it only cost me 99p. I don't think the, uh, the seller realised what he had when he uh, sold it to me. Um, but I knew straight away there'd be some, some value in this. Furbies are quite popular and there are collectors of them. Um, yeah, the bigger ones can go for sort of 25 to £30. Pounds. Um, but because this was a smaller one, I knew I wasn't going to get that much for it. Um, when I put it on eBay, there wasn't actually anything else like this on eBay at the time. So I priced it quite high. Um, put it on initially at uh, nineteen ninety. No, sorry, twenty five pounds initially. Gradually dropped the price. Didn't sell in its first thirty days, so I relisted it for seventeen ninety nine. Had an offer within a couple of days of listing it um, of fifteen pounds, which I accepted. Uh, so fifteen pounds was four pound postage on it. Uh, it actually cost me two pounds seventy eight to post in the end, so I made a bit on the postage as well. So yeah, 99p into just over £15. Um, it's a good sort of uh, 12 or £13 worth of profit there for me after fees. So really pleased with that sale. Uh, definitely something to be on the look for, look out for our um, Furbies and especially the, uh, the vintage ones if you can get them uh, cheaply enough. Okay, so we'll move on to the next item. Um, and this was a Subutio football mug. Um, I picked this up at the same tabletop sale uh, I think I paid about two pounds for it um, sort of uh, brand new never been out of the box um, so it's uh, it, it, again it, it didn't sell sort of the first time uh, around the listing I had it had it up for about 12.99 initially gradually dropped the price relisted it for 8.99 um, it sold within a couple of days of being listed. I think I took an offer on it. Yeah, took an offer of six pound ninety nine uh, with three pound shipping. So I went for nine ninety nine in total. Uh, cost me just under three pounds to ship it. So it was a bit of profit there. Not as much as I'd have liked, but about sort of three or four pounds worth of profit there. So happy enough to make some money and get the item out the door. Um, this roller coaster tycoon 2 another one of my games that i pick up for 10p um got a supplier who supplies me with 50 games for five pounds so this was one of them um sold it took an offer for it again um so we sold it for four pounds in the end with two pound shipping uh, the shipping costs about one pound 26 it goes with large letter so i made a bit on the shipping um and obviously 10p into four pounds as well even with fees still a good sort of three three odd pounds worth of uh, profit on that one so happy with that for a 10p investment and then we've got a vintage tie um, a scooby-doo one uh, it was in good condition picked this up in a charity shop cost me 49p um, these vintage sort of ties do tend to go quite well if they've got a theme on them um, initially listed it at nine ninety nine, um, with two pound shipping. Didn't really get a lot of uh, interest at that price, so gradually lowered the price. Again, didn't sell within its first thirty days, so I relisted it four ninety nine, with two pound shipping, and somebody bought it within a day of me relisting it. Um, cost me less than a pound to ship it, um, so I made a bit of money on the shipping, with the. Um, I only cost me 49p as well it's another sort of three or four pounds profit there so happy to take that for such a small um item 
Okay, so next, another 10p game. Um, sold this one, £3.99 plus £2 shipping. So, good bit of profit. Again, made a bit of money in the on the shipping. Um, so, yeah, we're talking over over three pounds profit on this um, and like I say I'm happy to sell these all day long because they're dead easy to photograph um, and uh, you know they, they sell quite quickly I mean this this sold within a week or two of being listed so not too bad at all uh, this item Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets audiobook on CD um, Read by Stephen Fry, so it's a British version, and like the one I sold in the past. Uh, I can't show you any more pictures of it, but yeah, not the best pictures on it. This uh, wasn't in the best condition, it had quite a bit of residue from stickers and such like on it, but the CDs themselves were absolutely fine. Um, listed it as acceptable, declared that the, uh, there was sticker residue on it, and that the there were some cosmetic scratches to the discs, but they were working. Um, paid two pounds for this in total. Took an offer of eight pounds. The shipping was four pounds as well. So, uh, but it actually cost me less than three pounds to ship it. So again, made a bit there. So we're talking about sort of six, maybe seven pounds profit was made on this item again. So I'm happy happy with that it sold again relatively quickly um so yeah definitely worth one looking out for if you get them at a decent price these harry potter audiobooks are quite quite popular uh, and then next we have a alito days gone showman's dodgems tractor and trailer which is just basically uh, a sort of die cast model vehicle it's in 176 scale so you can use it on double o gauge model railways it is a limited edition had within it a i think i took a picture yeah had within it a certificate of offense authenticity um to show that so yeah i took a few pictures used some stock photos as well because the um a lot of the box was quite quite worn it had never actually been out of its box um itself so the the actual product itself is in very good condition had this up i could actually pick this up at the same tabletop sale two pound fifty that i bought picked up the first couple of items and this again was up for i think originally 14.99 um didn't sell within its first 30 days so i relisted it for 11.99 and uh, took an offer of 10 pounds with three pound shipping um the uh actual sort of profit on that was probably about six or seven pounds in the end which I was quite happy with you know based on a two pound fifty investment so yeah uh good to get that one sold um here we have a next men's shirt brand new never been out of its packaging um originally cost sort of 25 i think you can see it here yeah, originally cost £22, sorry, £21.99. Um, I paid £3 for this in a charity shop. Um, put it on for sale, I think, uh, about £14.99 initially. Didn't sell. Uh, difficult to take good pictures on when they're in this packaging as well because it just sort of reflects the light. Um, so that probably didn't help matters. But I didn't want to take it out of its packaging because I felt that would affect its value but yeah got that one sold in the end uh, 11 99 plus three pound postage and it costs two pound 78 to post so you don't really make anything on that shipping because he may take a bit of of the um postage costs for themselves as well but yeah three pound into 11 99 sort of five six pounds profit there again once fees have been taken out so quite happy to get that out the door um this one uh walt disney presents dinosaur uh, a vhs video just included this just to show you that even though vhs has been defunct for years people still will buy the um the videos um 
sold this one for 4.99 two pounds shipping and it actually cost me more than two pounds to ship it so in future i'm going to put this up to three pounds if i sell any more videos um but yeah quite happy to to get that sold um ebay pre-populated the details about the video and everything so all i had to do was take a couple of pictures and put it on there and um, the cost of the video was sort of cost me a few pence at most so quite a bit of profit made on that even with the shipping costing more than i'd actually charge the customer so you know probably about three pounds profit in the end um which i'm happy to get and then finally uh, another uh, brand new with tag shirt um as you can see pictures don't take the best with the um look of the uh you know the the sort of the lighting getting reflected back there but i also managed to find a, a stock picture of the uh, the same shirt so i included that at the end um in future i might actually put that at the start just to draw people in uh, it's brand new it cost me two pounds fifty at the same tabletop sale that i think about three of the other items on this list came from um sold it for 13 pounds plus three pound shipping in the end so two pound fifty into 13 pounds gave me a sort of about seven or eight pounds profit after fees which is uh quite happy quite a good margin for me um so yeah really good to get that that sold um but i said it and he's quite happy also included some measurements um couldn't take it out of his packaging to measure it but i did have a look on the cotton trader website to see what the um, measurements are and i had a look to see if they still sold the item as well which they did so i was able to pick up a few extra details to include in the description so always worth if you get these brand new items of clothing that are still sort of sealed just have a look on the um, manufacturer's website and see if you can find out any information about it if you can include it in your listing and that'll hopefully help it sell so yeah that's it 10 uh, quick items that have sold recently um, hopefully that's given you some inspiration of the sort of stuff to look out for um, I take the approach that any profit is good profit um, so whilst I may not be making millions on each item um, it all sort of adds to the uh, the profit pot so to speak which then means I can invest in bigger and better things and grow the business that way anyway hopefully you've enjoyed this video uh, if you have give it a like um, feel free to subscribe to the money mental uk youtube channel um, and also follow me on twitter uh, at money mental uk for more updates and thank you for viewing goodbye